Hey guys, it's Max. I am a huge fan of Samsung's Galaxy Buds. I've been using them ever since they came out about a year ago, but there were a few things that were kind of downsides and limitations with the original Galaxy Buds. And with the new Galaxy Buds Plus, Samsung has said that they addressed those issues. Now, we actually made a comparison between these two and we covered every single little detail in that video. So before you watch this video, where we're gonna actually test out their claims and put it to the test, go ahead and just wait a second, go watch that video, I'll wait for you guys, and then you guys can come back and we'll resume. All right guys, now let's jump into it. I'm gonna be skipping over those details, focusing on what they actually fixed and changed. And as you guys could tell, I have the Galaxy Buds Plus here. They have a new case that is glossy, and I have a brand new pair of original Galaxy Buds to make sure this test is fair. The first thing that I wanna test out is the sound quality. So previously, it was pretty good, but not great. And with the new Galaxy Buds Plus, they now have dual drivers where a lot of other earbuds don't have that, and that should improve it. Now I'm looking for better sound quality, especially in the highs, and also maybe some better volume because the original Galaxy Buds are a little bit quiet. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's start out with the original Galaxy Buds. Not bad so far. Good bass. Lacking on the volume for sure. And the clarity in the highs, just like I remember it pretty much. Now, the reason they should sound better and hopefully be louder as well is because they have dual drivers instead of one. It should give it an advantage. Very interesting, very interesting. Definitely more bass, but that's not what I really wanted. I didn't want more bass, the bass was already good. I wanted louder with uh, clear highs. Okay, flipping back. To be honest, they actually sound quite similar, but since the Note allows you to do dual audio, we'll send it to both. I'm gonna put one in each ear and try to listen that way. Okay. All right, well that helped. Uh, interestingly, the latency was kind of off, making me think that the chip in here is better. I think we'll have to test that out. Uh, now I could definitely tell the difference. So the bass in here sounds much more like an actual subwoofer. If you have a dedicated unit, it sounds more boomy, it sounds deeper, richer, even though it's a little bit too heavy, I think, which you can turn down in the EQ. Whereas this one sounds more like a cell phone, where you hear something, but it doesn't feel like bass. Okay, this is getting interesting. So I just listened to a few more songs, different genres, and I looked at the EQ and I noticed something. The original Galaxy Buds, they have five different EQ settings in the Galaxy Wearables app, and it's defaulted to dynamic. And in my review, I mentioned that the default sounded the best to me. Now, the new Galaxy Buds Plus, they actually add another mode called normal. So there's six presets, and the default is no longer dynamic. It is set to normal. And when I compare them at the start, they sounded pretty similar, not that big of a difference. But when you switch to the dynamic mode, these things come alive. Not only do they get louder, but they definitely sound better as well. And uh, in the EDM song, and then I listened to a hip hop song, there are noticeable differences. When you're going back and forth, you can definitely tell. But when I switch to a metal rock song, wow, these sound much better. You have the nice bass from the lows from that driver. You have a lot more clarity with the drums, the hi-hats, the electric guitars, and the vocals. I mean, there is a world of a difference, especially in rock music, where you have all those different sounds and instruments between them. That's if you switch to the dynamic mode. And I was wondering, why in the world would they not default to that? Why would they add a normal mode? And Vadim made a great point. What if they had to do that to get the battery life rating up? And that's why it's defaulted to the normal mode because the battery in these new Galaxy Buds Plus, they're about 50% larger inside the bud themselves, but their rating for the battery life is about 85% better battery life. And since in the normal mode, they're not pushing it as hard, it's quieter, it's not, it doesn't sound as good, that is going to make a difference in battery life. So if you're buying some Galaxy Buds Plus, go into your settings, the first thing you do, and switch it to the, that, that dynamic mode. That's when these things start to come alive. All right guys, now time to compare the latency. I did notice a little bit of a difference when I had uh, both of them connected, uh, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this up here. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear, but I'm gonna switch. You definitely do notice some delay if you guys can hear it. And now with the Galaxy Buds Plus, 
It does seem a little bit faster, just like I noticed when I had both of them paired up. And then I actually tested both side by side many times, and we're seeing about a 100 milliseconds to maybe about 150 millisecond difference between the two. So that's not a massive difference, but yes, latency has improved. Now, if you're listening to music or you're watching a YouTube video, that doesn't matter because they'll wait for the video to sync up. But if you're in a game, you don't have that convenience. And that's when you notice the difference. Now, the last complaint that most people had was the microphone quality with the original Galaxy Buds, where they sounded very bad, like you're underwater pretty much. Now, Samsung has tried to address this by adding another microphone to the Galaxy Galaxy Buds Plus, so we have an extra one on the outside now, and let's put their claims to the test and see how these compare. I'm gonna go ahead and pair these up. I'm gonna call Vadim, and we're actually recording the audio that he's getting from his phone during a phone call, because that's different than just recording to a Notes app on your phone. This is a microphone quality test during a phone call using the original Galaxy Buds. This is a microphone quality test during a phone call using the new Galaxy Buds Plus. You guys go ahead and let me know which one of these sounded better. Um, I doubt the Galaxy Buds will sound better, but how much better do the Buds Plus sound? Did Samsung do a good enough job? Uh, of course, it's not gonna sound as good as our $500 shotgun microphone plugged into a professional recorder, but hopefully it's a good improvement. Make sure to comment down below. Now, what are my thoughts overall, especially on the sound quality? Well, at first I was a little bit disappointed, but when we switched to that dynamic mode, it made a huge difference, a world of a difference, and these definitely sound a lot better. So if you have the original Galaxy Buds and you're not happy with the sound, or even maybe just the loudness that's coming out of them, there is a massive improvement with the Buds Plus. Samsung did a fantastic job. Of course, the battery life rating is higher as well, and in that dynamic mode, you might not get all those 11 hours, but the battery is 50% larger, so it's definitely gonna be an improvement. And I think that's very important. You say a uh, year, two years, down the line when your batteries start you know not lasting as long having that extra capacity is definitely going to help now there are some other differences between these two that i cover in my uh, full comparison that has every single detail listed so make sure to check that out but overall i would absolutely spend the extra money on the Galaxy Buds Plus. Yeah, MSRP is only 20 bucks more, but on Amazon, you can pick these up for about 100 bucks right now, and we'll have links down below, but I would gladly pay the extra $50 to have these new ones. Now, you can actually buy these refurbished for about 70, which we'll also link down uh, below, and at that point, it's kind of a tougher choice. If you're really on a budget, these are still a good option, but I would say if you can spring for the extra money, the extra money, I'd absolutely go for the Buds Plus. Now, if you wanna see our comparison to the AirPods and the AirPods Pro. You guys could do that right over there. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this one, click that subscribe button and enable notifications down below. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.